Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Civil Engineering Academy. My name's Cody. Let's go ahead and get started here. So today we have a construction management problem. It says a capital improvement project requires the installation of fencing along a property line. The property has a 270 yard northern boundary line. A decorative aluminum fence is constructed of posts spaced at 10 foot centers and an ornate picket infill panel. The labor hours required to install the post and infill panels are two hours and four hours respectively. And then we see it gives us a bill of materials there. Uh, and then it says the material cost for this scope of work is most nearly what? And it gives us four choices. So uh, something that's very important here is we need to look at what it's asking for, right? Th this is something they can trip you up on on the exam. And in this question, it is asking for the material cost, right? That's it. It's not asking for the labor. It's not asking for, you know, how long is it going to take? Uh, it's asking for the material cost. And we also notice that it does not give us any information about, um, I'll just mark through, it doesn't give us any information about concrete. So we know that's not applicable. It does talk about posts and it does talk about panels. Uh, but it doesn't really give us, you know, how far we need to dig down or how wide we're digging to, you know, get that cubic yardage of concrete. So we can go ahead and cross that out. That's kind of a, an outlier to, uh, to get you off on the wrong track and basically waste your time. So the way I would start this problem is by drawing a picture, right? So we're going to have uh, a post and then we're going to have a fence and then we're going to have a post. Okay, and then we're going to have a fence and then a post and so on, right? Um, something that's very important here that we notice is we have three panels, right? But uh, four posts. Okay, and the reason why is because we have one on the left side and one on the right side, right? So if we, uh, if we forgot about the one on the right, we would end up with three posts instead. Um, so that's another way where they're going to trip you up. We'll just roll through it here. It says uh, 270 yards, and it's it's a straight line. We're going to go ahead and assume it's a straight line because it doesn't really give us any radiuses or anything crazy like that. So we're going to go ahead and go 270 yards, right? And I guess, you know, since it's given us 10-foot centers, we could do this either way. We could convert feet to yards or yards to feet. In this case, we're going to convert yards to feet. So we need to multiply that by uh, three feet per yard, right? And if you don't know that, you can find that in the PE uh, reference manual. They have all kinds of conversions in there. So after you do that, after you plug that into your FE calculator, you end up with uh, 810 feet, okay? And so with that, what we can do is we can do the 810 feet and we can divide that by 10 feet per post, right? Because that's what it says in the problem is we have 10 feet per post uh, off on centers, right? So when we do that, you end up with 81 posts. Now, like I said earlier, what they, what they want you to do is go, oh, okay, I've got 81 posts. Well, what you're not doing there is counting the end one. So you're not going to end a, uh, a fence just with a panel, you know, hanging by itself. It's got to have, I guess we can sketch it here. We got a post, a post, and then we have our panel, right? So you have to have this one on the end. Uh, you can't just leave it hanging. And so that's why you need to add one post here. So now you actually have 82 posts. So with that, we do understand that uh, a panel is going to be split in between the posts. So that's going to be this guy. So we know there's going to be one less panel than there is post because you're going to have just this one on the end, that post. So we're going to have 81 panels. By using this, we can, uh, we can go ahead and do our multiplication to get our material cost. So we have 82 posts. Okay, times how much is a post? It's six hundred and forty-five dollars and thirty-five cents per post. And for our panels, we know that's going to be one panel times one nine 
0.85.50 per panel. So when you do that, when you plug that into your FE or PE approved calculator, you end up with $52,918.70. Okay. So now then we need to go ahead and do our panels here. We end up with $160,825.50. So if we add these costs together to get our total material cost, you end up with you end up with $213,744.20. There's your answer. Your answer is D.